the end of Sky and we're saying children's book, but actually it's kind of for everyone. It is. I think there's a thing which you can think of as family entertainment in the exactly. same way as there is some television which mm. is for everybody. Uh, I like to think that the sort of books I write, I mean, these, these particular ones are about his, things that have happened in history, but it's yeah. fiction, um, could be read by the entire family. Oh, they absolutely could. I like her. She's feisty. She's feisty. Thing. She's feisty. Yeah, you're surprised I wrote a feisty woman. <laughs> Not at all. Not in any way whatsoever. But, you know, there, there is, like you said, there's history in this. This is about the, the famine in Ireland and how this kid had to leave mm. and, you know, what she has to do to in her life. And, and it's... It's amazing. But well, what it happened really was is. I wanted to write the... I actually wanted to read the story of the potato famine in the 1840s yeah. and somebody leaving Ireland and going all the way to New York and then all the way to Oregon. And I couldn't find this book, so I wrote it. Because Perfect. I thought because that it wasn't there. It wasn't there. But you think about these people that did that, and it happened in Scotland as well with the clearances, yeah. that they made this journey. It was like going to the moon. Yeah. There was, you there know, was they, nothing. I mean, they, they called it, know. when they got to Independence, Missouri, there were still 2,000 miles to get to the Pacific coast. Yeah. You have to imagine there were no roads at all, just some trails that had been made by fur traders. And they called it the jumping off point because nobody knew what was going to happen. Yeah. And 20,000 people did die on the way uh, over the years. I mean, it's actually a very short period of time. The bit that we think of as the cowboys and Indians yeah. is actually a tiny piece of time, and the Indians were actually wonderful. In fact, one of the nicest things I discovered in doing my research is that when the Choctaw Indians, the Native Americans, discovered that the Irish were starving, they raised money and sent it to the Irish. For goodness sake, well, that's something that people don't know and no. should know about. No, and so that, that, warms, that warms your heart. No, it does. Uh, and it's an incredible journey. I, I recommend, even if you don't want to read my book, do the journey of the Oregon Trail. My wife and I, who you know, Debbie, yeah. um, we drove uh, from, oh, uh, from St. Louis all the way to Oregon. It's just over 2,000 miles. You see a side of America that is not in the films, that is not on television, that is uh, really astonishing, and, and, and landscapes that are yeah. sort of lunar and extraordinary. And you can imagine what it must have been like for them. You do have a sense of it, and even in some of the areas and in parts of Idaho and Utah, uh, you can still see the ruts that the wagon train made. Uh, so you can you can follow in their footsteps. And indeed, they did walk it uh, because the wagons were so uncomfortable that most people, it Just was unbearable. Got yeah. They got out and walked. Too so. it yeah, too you imagine walking with your kids all that way. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's Absolutely an amazing, unbelievable. amazing trip. The end of Sky, it's, it's, it's great. And it's good that this wasn't enough. There I was watching you last night in Bake Off. I got a bit emotional <laughs> last night. I don't blame you, though. We spend a lot of time together. Yeah, of And also, they, they, they put their heart and soul into they it. Do. They do. And I think that's the success of the programme, is that you can see that. You mm. see how much effort has gone into it. Oh, it's, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's heartwarming, but at mm. the same time, you know, you're on the edge of your seat. Yeah. And I was like, last night, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat about a pie, but I really care. <laughs> yes. I, it's, I it isn't just that, it's, work, it's somebody's you know? triumph for tragedy. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And, uh, and also, I have to say, the four of us, Prue and Paul and Noel and myself... Oh, you and Noel have got a great relationship. Crying, it's really funny. Crying with laughter. <laughs> he refers to me as his little Danish wife. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I think I'm fine with great. that. It works so, so well. And you've got QI coming on, of course. Yeah. Again, trailblazing, the, the first woman in a, a major sort of panel game, the first woman host. Yes, I don't know why it's taken so long. Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Honestly, here's the secret about hosting a clever show, is that they tell the host the answers beforehand. Exactly. <laughs> so, and so okay. those cards you have to hold are not as heavy as I was led to believe. So is mine. <laughs> so it's so really... It's actually OK. It's not as it's complicated. Okay. The world is endlessly interesting, and okay. you know that from the people that sit on your sofa. That's you know true. that there is no end to the fascination that is out there. And I, this show absolutely taps into my love of, uh, of trying to understand a little bit more about how the world functions. Mm. So, plus we have that. We have a laugh. A laugh is a good thing. Yeah. A, a curious laugh. I do that, actually, with everything I do. That's rather jolly, isn't it? It's rather nice, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's just a great. bit of tragedy and then a bit of a laugh <laughs> as well. It's fantastic. <laughs> and, of course, we'll see you at Women of the Year. Well, which is another example of okay. that, actually, of lots of laughter in the room, 400 fabulous uh, women, uh, and then also the stories, the painful stories that we yeah. uh, that we highlight. No, of course, because we were just talking about Jelly earlier yeah. on in the show, and her legacy still continues. Yeah. You know, she's, she is saving lives. She's no longer with us, sadly, but she is saving lives and she's... Amazing, and it's as you said, it's great to get all of these women in the room from so many different walks of life. But I remember talking to Jill, and uh, we had such a lovely hug. And uh, the, there's a vitality about her that remains. Yeah. Because we still 
uh, are talking about her and her work is continuing. Yeah, and I am so uh, impressed with those women who, to their very last breath, will continue to fight uh, to help other people. That's just a wonderful thing. And this year's lunch is going to be no different. No, exactly. And it is great to celebrate that, to absolutely celebrate the best mm. that women can be. Yeah, and it's absolutely in the room. And I, and I think, well, you know, I've hosted it for many years, but I always say if I could bottle that room oh, and geez. give it to every schoolgirl <laughs> in the country and say, whatever it is you choose to be, yeah, yeah. it is possible. You, ca you can achieve whatever yeah. it is you want, whether it's to be prime minister or the best sheepdog handler in the country. I don't care what it is. It doesn't matter. Go for it. No, and exactly. It. And it's so important to get that message out to, to our daughters, to our nieces, to our friends. Yeah. Just go for it. But that's why I mean, one of the reasons is to get, come back to the book is that yeah. I, I've got a female heroine in it and she's a yeah. feisty, she's a feisty young girl. Slim uh, Hannigan. Slim Hannigan. Slim um, Hannigan. They've got to make a movie of this. They've got to make a movie of Sandy. Great to see you. It's always Thank you so much. And good luck with the end of Sky. It's Thank you. Right now.